What's going on? This is PC Central 102. I'm here to bring you MacBook Air 2010 A1370 11-inch laptop. Now, I am taking that apart because the motherboard right here is having some failing RAM in it. It's missing one gigabyte of RAM, which is completely ridiculous. It shouldn't be doing this in the first place. And I just wanted to say, if you guys ever have any trouble, or don't think you can take this apart, it is very, very simple to do this. Extremely simple. You just gotta watch, there's just one thing you may want to watch out for. Ports like, if I can focus in, like the speaker port right here. There you go. It's that's a special way to take that. I got lift up on it, and this port right here, which is for the uh, trackpad and keyboard, there is a little thing that flaps up and down. You just gotta make sure you aren't lifting up on the port itself. Otherwise, you will take it off, which is not good at all. The battery was extremely easy to take off. When when you flip up the area to take it off, it does stick. It does, You can bend it in the way you want it to bend. It will not move back to the motherboard, which is very nice. And then the solid state drive, the SSD, is very simple to take out. There's just one thing you should not do. Do not lift up too much on taking it out. Maybe... I don't know, one, one sixth of an inch. Don't lift it up too much, just enough for you to grab it and wiggle it out. Now, if you uh, need to replace the I.O. board or anything, this gives you very easy access to that. You just gotta make sure you have all the right tools and everything to do this. I This is a standard Phillips Zero head, I believe. And this is a uh, Torx T5 security screwdriver. And this is a 5 pentalobe screwdriver. And this is another Torx. I'm for I forgot what the what the size was. And anyways, also the fan, the fan port be very careful with cuz it's that port right there. If I can Focus in on it. That right there. There is a small little latch in the back. They have to lift up. And it's very small. It's in the back. It's not in the front. Like Windows. Like a Windows laptop. You have. It's just very small. Just be careful. Try not to take that port out. It is very pretty easy to do that but if you know what you're doing you can get through it successfully now the back of the board is pretty bare as you can see it's just a few RAM chips and some other SATA chips to the board maybe a memory controller on the back I believe once I get my new motherboard I believe I am going to try to reflow the chips and the memory controller if I can find it. I'm sure iFixit has has it somewhere. And uh it's pretty easy to put back in. Extremely easy. So I wouldn't worry if you need to take something apart and replace it, don't worry about it. It's super super easy. In that case, you just have to know what you're doing. If you don't you're going to screw it up like a person without any experience with computers would do. Alright? See you later, guys. PC Central out.